Have you ever found yourself in the unexpected company of squatters? Well, you're not alone. Today we're delving into a topic that's a bit more unsettling than your average household bug, squatters. These uninvited guests have been causing a stir recently, making headlines and causing distress for homeowners across the nation. Just recently, a story in the New York Post shed light on some homeowners who've had to tackle this very issue. From the bustling streets of Coney Island to the serene lakeside of Moses Lake, homeowners are finding themselves in a battle of rights, space, and peace of mind. One of these homeowners is Mohammed Choudhury, who faced the daunting task of evicting squatters from his property in Coney Island. Boys in Lorik, too, found himself in a similar predicament. But the issue isn't confined to the East Coast. Leka Devatha, a resident of Seattle, also had to deal with unwanted inhabitants, and with the assistance of the police, she was able to reclaim her space. And it's not just residential properties that are on the squatter's radar. Christian Osgood, who was renovating a motel in Moses Lake, found his property overrun. Even luxury real estate isn't immune, as brokers Emily Randall Smith and Tyler Smith discovered when they came across a squatter situation in a Hollywood Hills home. These homeowners' stories paint a complex picture of the struggle against squatters. They highlight the importance of being vigilant, recognizing early signs of squatter activity, and taking swift action to protect one's property. As we go deeper into these stories, we'll uncover the challenges these homeowners faced and the steps they took to reclaim their properties. So, buckle up because we're about to embark on a journey through the trials and triumphs of homeowners against squatters. Let's examine these homeowners' experiences and how they managed to reclaim their properties. Starting with Mohammed Choudhury and Boyce and Lorik, they found themselves dealing with squatters in their properties in Coney Island. Imagine waking up one morning to find strangers living in your property. This is exactly what happened to Mohammed Choudhury and Boyce and Lorik. They were shocked to discover squatters had taken up residence in their Coney Island properties. Their initial reactions were a mix of disbelief, frustration, and concern. After all, these were their properties, their investment, and now they were being occupied by unauthorized individuals. So what did they do? They took action. Chudhari and Lorik didn't sit back and let the situation spiral out of control. They decided to confront the squatters, to reclaim what was rightfully theirs. This wasn't an easy task, mind you. Dealing with squatters can often be a legal minefield, a delicate situation that requires careful navigation. They contacted the authorities, providing them with the necessary documentation to prove their ownership of the properties. They sought legal counsel to understand their rights and the best course of action. They were persistent, determined, and proactive. This wasn't just about reclaiming their properties, it was about standing up for what was right, for what was legally and morally theirs. The eviction process wasn't swift. It required patience, resilience, and a firm hand. But Chowdhury and Lorik didn't back down. They stood their ground, pushing through the legal hurdles and the red tape. They were committed to resolving the situation, to taking back their properties, and to ensuring this didn't happen again. Chowdhury and Lorik's experience underscores the importance of vigilance in property management. It's a reminder to all property owners out there to keep a close watch on your properties, to be aware of what's happening and to act swiftly if you ever find yourself in a similar situation. Because, as we've seen with Mohammed Chowdhury and Boyce and Lorik, squatters can invade when you least expect it. On the other side of the country, Leka Devatha faced a similar problem in her Seattle building. Leka Devatha, a property owner in the vibrant city of Seattle, found herself grappling with an unwelcome issue. Her building, once a symbol of her hard work and investment, had become a refuge for squatters. These intruders had taken over her property, turning her world upside down. As the situation spiraled, Leka felt a growing sense of frustration and despair. She was stuck in a cycle of futile attempts to reclaim her property, but found herself constantly hitting brick walls. It was an ordeal that left her feeling helpless, a sentiment shared by many homeowners who find themselves in similar predicaments. But Leka was not one to back down easily. She knew she had to take decisive action, and so she turned to the only authority that could help, the police. She reached out to the local law enforcement, detailing her situation and seeking their assistance. It was a crucial step, a turning point that would change the course of her situation. The role of the police in Leka's case was instrumental. They were her allies in her fight against the squatters providing the necessary legal backing and enforcement that she needed. 
their involvement added a layer of legal intimidation that the squatters could not ignore. It was a move that sent a clear message. Leika was not alone in her fight and she was not going to back down. The outcome of Leika's situation was a testament to her resilience and determination. With the help of the police, she successfully evicted the squatters from her building. It was a victory not just for Leika, but for every homeowner who has ever found themselves in a similar situation. It was proof that with the right support and determination, it is possible to reclaim what is rightfully yours. Devatha's story shows the significant role that law enforcement can play in these situations. Through her ordeal, Leka Devatha has become a beacon of hope for homeowners everywhere, a shining example of resilience in the face of adversity. Her story serves as a reminder that no one should have to fight alone and that there is help available for those who seek it. Christian Osgood was in for a surprise during the renovations of a motel in Moses Lake. As he began the work, he discovered that squatters had taken up residence in the property. This wasn't just a minor inconvenience, but a real disruption to his renovation plans. Imagine being in Osgood's shoes for a moment. You're excited about giving this motel a new life, only to find the process stalled by unexpected occupants. Squatters aren't just a nuisance, but they can also cause significant damage and even pose safety risks. So what did Osgood do? He didn't panic or get flustered. Instead, he took decisive action. He called the authorities and worked with them to safely remove the squatters from the property. This was not a quick process, though. It took time, patience, and a commitment to doing things the right way. Osgood's experience serves as an important reminder of the challenges that property owners can face when dealing with squatters. It's not just about the inconvenience, but also the potential for damage and delays to plans. Despite these challenges, Osgood was able to successfully reclaim his property. His story underscores the importance of quick action and cooperation with authorities when dealing with squatters. It's also a testament to his determination and resilience in the face of unexpected obstacles. But his story also raises a bigger question. How can property owners prevent such situations in the first place? What steps can they take to protect their properties, especially during periods of transition or renovation? These are important questions that we will explore in the next part of this video. Osgood's experience highlights the potential for squatters to occupy properties during periods of transition or renovation. Even luxury real estate isn't immune to squatter situations, as Emily Randall Smith and Tyler Smith discovered in a Hollywood Hills home. Nestled in the high-end neighborhood of Hollywood Hills, Emily and Tyler, luxury real estate brokers, found themselves in an unexpected predicament. Despite the glitz and glamour associated with the area, they found themselves dealing with a squatter situation. Emily and Tyler first noticed something was amiss when they discovered signs of unexpected occupancy. There were unexplained belongings, signs of recent activity, and an eerie sense of intrusion. They quickly realized that they were not dealing with a simple case of forgotten items from a previous owner, but a much more complex issue. A squatter had taken up residence in the luxury property. Realizing the gravity of the situation, the Smiths acted swiftly. They knew they had to handle this delicately not only to ensure their safety, but also to protect the integrity and value of the property. Their first step was to involve law enforcement, a crucial move in such scenarios. With the police's assistance, they managed to evict the squatter successfully. But the Smiths didn't stop there. They understood the importance of preventative measures to avoid a recurrence. They heightened security measures, installed surveillance cameras, and made it a point to regularly inspect the property. They also educated themselves on the signs of squatter activity, something they encourage other homeowners to do. Recognizing these signs early can make the difference between a small inconvenience and a major headache. The Smith's experience serves as a stark reminder that squatter situations don't discriminate by property value or location. They can happen anywhere, even in luxury real estate. And while it's easy to think it won't happen to me, the Smith's story is a clear indication that it's better to be prepared than to be caught off guard. The Smith's experience shows us that squatters can be a problem in any type of property, even luxury real estate. So, how can homeowners protect their properties from squatters? The question on everyone's lips. Let's delve into some common solutions and preventive measures homeowners can take against squatters. Firstly, it's crucial to understand the legal avenues at your disposal. The law often sides with property owners, 
but it's a complex landscape to navigate. Engaging a knowledgeable real estate attorney can be an invaluable asset. They can guide you through the process of eviction, should it come to that. Always remember, the law is on your side, but you need to know how to use it. Next, let's talk about law enforcement. While they may not be the first line of defense, they play a significant role in maintaining order and safety. If you suspect squatter activity, don't hesitate to report it to your local police department. They can help verify the situation and, in some cases, may assist in removing the squatters. However, bear in mind that this is often a civil matter that requires legal intervention. Now, on to prevention. The old adage, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, rings particularly true here. Regular property checks are a must. A property that appears vacant or neglected is a magnet for squatters. By maintaining regular checks, you send a clear message this property is cared for and monitored. Consider hiring a property management company if you're unable to do these checks yourself. They can keep an eye on your property, ensure it's maintained, and alert you to any unusual activity. Additionally, secure your property, install sturdy locks, security cameras, and alarm systems. These measures not only deter potential squatters, but also provide evidence if a legal battle ensues. Lastly, engage with your community. Neighbors can be your eyes and ears when you're not around. Build a network of local contacts who can alert you to any suspicious activity. Remember, a community that looks out for each other is a strong deterrent against squatters. In conclusion, protecting your property from squatters involves a combination of legal knowledge, law enforcement engagement, regular property checks, and community involvement. It's a multifaceted approach, but each element plays its part in ensuring your property remains just that, your property. Prevention is always better than cure, especially when it comes to protecting your property. So stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay proactive. Your property and peace of mind are worth it. Dealing with squatters is a challenge that no homeowner wants to face. Over the course of this video, we've delved into the experiences of several homeowners who've had to confront this issue head on. Each case was unique, but they all shared a common thread, the unwelcome intrusion of squatters. We began with Mohammed Choudhari and Boysin Lorik, who were forced to reclaim their Coney Island properties from these unwanted guests. Their story was a stark reminder of the importance of vigilance and proactive property management. Then we moved on to Leka Devatha's struggle in Seattle. With the assistance of law enforcement, she was able to successfully remove squatters from her building. Her case underscored the crucial role that our law enforcement agencies play in these situations. Our journey continued with Christian Osgood, who fought to reclaim a motel in Moses Lake during renovations. His experience highlighted the fact that even commercial properties are not immune to squatter activity. Lastly, we delved into the world of luxury real estate, where Emily Randall Smith and Tyler Smith encountered a squatter situation in a Hollywood Hills home. Their encounter served as a stark reminder that squatters can infiltrate properties at any level, from the most modest homes to the most opulent estates. Throughout these accounts, we've seen the importance of vigilance, law enforcement, and regular property checks. These are the key tools every homeowner needs in their arsenal to combat and prevent squatter activity. It's about understanding the signs, taking swift action, and ensuring the security of our properties. So as we conclude, let's remember this. Your home is more than just a building. It's a sanctuary, a place of refuge and comfort. It's a space that should be respected and protected. Remember, your home is your castle. Guard it well.